became angry. And he introduced me to myself. That they're going to change. That's why I'm the way I am now. What's up, y'all? Good morning, y'all boy. Today we will be reading from the book of Titus, chapters 2 and 3. Thank you, Father God, for today. The day that you made is lit on this day, yeah. I'm so thankful that you woke me up. You forgive me for my sins, yeah. <laughs> I be flowing. Y'all, yeah, I'm the number one DJ in the world. Your girl, Symphony. But, <laughs> scratch all of that. I do want to be take you serious, God, and say thank you for life. Thank you for another opportunity. Thank you for my strong voice. Thank you, thank you for helping me get up off the floor and gaining some confidence about myself. Thank you for not forsaking me when you could have and you should have. <laughs> But you greeted him in. So I just want to say thank you. I honor you with my life. I take my life seriously. So in Jesus' name, I know you have heard this prayer. I believe you're sitting with me right now. I love you, Father. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Spirit. And the ultimate goal is to make it to heaven. So with that being said... Amen, 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 amen. And let's begin in chapter 2. Guidelines for Christian Living. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, Grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Not false accusers, not given too much wine. Teachers of good things, that they may teach the young woman to be sober. To love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chast, keepers at home, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober minded in all things. Shewing thyself a pattern of good works. And doctrine shewing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned. That he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters and to please them well in all things. Not answering again, not prolonging, but shewing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior, in all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and our worldly lust, we should live sober soberly. Righteously and godly in this present world. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all inequity and purify unto himself a peculiar people. Zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. 
let no man despise thee. Child, that's... <laughs> Chapter 3. Instructions for teaching. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers' lust. And pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior toward men appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is a faithful saying. In these things I will that thou affirm constantly that they which have been, what, <laughs> excuse me, that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. So that was verse 8. I'm going to repeat it. This is a faithful saying. And these things I will that thou affirm constantly. That they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and scrivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition Admonition, reject, knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth, being condemned of himself, when I shall send Artemis unto thee, or Tychius. Be diligent to come unto me, to Nicopolis, for I have determined there to winter. Bring Zenos, the lawyer, and Apollos on their journey diligently, that nothing be wanting unto them. And let ours also learn to maintain good works for necessary uses, that they be not unfruitful. All that are with me salute thee. Greet them that love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen. And that is the end of the reading today. We read the book of Titus, chapters 2 and 3. And that actually completes the book as well. So a few things that caught my attention today was... Chapter 14 and 15... No. Verse <laughs> chapter 2, verse 14 and 15. Our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all inequity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee.
Yeah. Something else that caught my attention was chapter 3 verse 2 speak evil of no man to be no brawlers but gentle showing all meekness unto all men for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish disobedient deceived serving divers lust and pleasures living in malice and envy hateful and hating one another Excuse me. So yeah, that caught my attention. Verse 8 also caught my attention in chapter 3. This is a faithful saying. And these things I woe that thou affirm constantly that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. It is profitable for us to be on God's side. <laughs> you gain so much more than you than you can ever imagine by rocking with God. Comment down below some things that caught your attention in the reading today. And you are also free to comment down any other thing um, that shares your testimony or your relationship with God. He's so good. I know we got so much to say about him. So comment down below and also subscribe to the Good Convo Podcast. I thank you guys for being here and take care. <laughs>